Hey guys, uh, I'm going to do a video on Cummins pistons. Uh, I've seen to be getting a lot of questions about Cummins swaps and using different pistons and different engines and so I thought I'd give a little bit of explanation on it and uh, we'll go through some of the pistons. I have a bunch of different ones but I don't have all of them but I can kind of give you guys an idea uh, the difference between some pistons and some other pistons. I guess let's start with 12L stuff. So as I have them sit on the table, so here's um, two of the common 12 valve pistons. Um, now there is actually a third. Um, so this is a, a, a factory intercooled 12 valve piston. Um, and then this is a marine piston. Um, now there's more than one style of marine piston, but this is a marine piston, bowl on a marine piston. <clears throat> now there is a non-intercooled uh, version of this piston um, actually I shouldn't say that there's more than one so a lot of them look, will look like this and then the non intercooleds in the trucks and then I would in some of the inner um, industrial and that type of stuff so if you look inside here you can see that there's a ridge inside there um, or a lip I guess on the bowl um, the non intercooleds um, will be bigger not as big as the marine one but um, bigger than that um, and then it won't have that lip so there's a little bit of difference but they, those pistons are really hard to get you still can get them but they're not a very common piston to get um, so uh, that being said so stock 12 valve so this is your 145 degree piston um, so um, your let's say 92 91 and a half I guess um, to 1998 factory 12 valve pickup truck um, that's what the piston will look like um, now there is a more than there's a bunch of variations of this you can get them from factory with coated skirts um, you can get it where the ring land is in a different spot and then you can also get a dual keystone ring land which is like this one um, which is this one has the coated skirt on it um, with a dual steel keystone ring um, and then this one's a marine. So a, a lot of guys would call this um, a Molly Motorsports piston, um, which it basically is, um, but that's for later in the talk here. Um, so average horsepower, um, you know, to be using something like this, you can use this piston in your 12 valve, no issues, um, you know, 700, 800 horsepower, no problem with this. Um, if you want to make more power, if you go to the marine style, you can add a lot more timing because the bowl is bigger um, and you get the injector lower in your hole so that the spray stays in the bowl, obviously. Otherwise, you know, the spray comes out of the bowl. Um, now, if you go to this piston, which is a little bit more money, but not astronomically, like I said it has a coated skirt and it has the dual keystone ring land on it. Um, and what the advantage of that is, is that at a high horsepower level, you'll break this ring land off because it's just a, a machined out of the cast piston. Um, so you can see the steel. But now something you can see here is how much different the ring land height is. So this one is like in the middle of this one. Um, so if you had to do a big valve relief, you, you got to be careful that you don't wreck this. Um, but you usually don't have to do huge valve reliefs and, you know, something that you're going to drive on the street. So these, this is a nice upgrade, dual keystone, doesn't break off. Um, I've got uh, actually a set of basically identical to this in my race truck. Um, they haven't broke yet, but I haven't got that many, that much run time on it yet. But, and then I have a set that's identical to, in my, in my daily driver, um, it has bowls like this, but with a dual keystone ring like this one. Um, so you can, like I said, you can do a bunch of, there's a bunch of different combinations. There's, I don't know how many different variations of pistons. You can do all kinds of different stuff. Um, and then you can have them coated at like, uh, you know, an aftermarket coating put on, um, you know, which isn't a horrible idea, but there again, for the average dude, you don't have to. Now that's 12 L stuff. Now you can get, um, pistons standard 20, 40. You used to be actually be able to buy 30 over pistons, and this is actually, I don't know if you'll be able to read it in the video or not. This one is actually a 30 over. Um, I only have one of these. I don't even know where it came from. It must have been something that, some of the stuff that I bought. Um, but that's 12 valve pistons. 
Now, you go into um, the VP44 engine. I actually don't have one of the VP44 engine pistons, but um, this is identical to a VP44 piston, um, other than it doesn't have this in it. But basically an identical piston. Um, I'm sure there maybe there is a couple little differences. I don't have them side by side. So like if I was putting a VP44 together, I would use VP44 pistons um, just because, you know, that's what's supposed to be there. Um, but this is a 305 horse common rail piston. Um, so 0304. Now there is a 265 horse uh, version of that engine. Um, which was not very common. Um, it still used the same piston as this one. Now there is two different compression ratios. There are compression ratios. You can get a different, come, got a bunch of different compression ratios in all of these pistons. Um, but this is a 305 horse common rail piston. So 03, 04 into the 04s a bit. Um, anything 305 horse will look like this style of bowl. Um, now, if you take the next version up, which is the 325 horse piston. Now, the 325 horse, so put them side by side, you can see, like if you look at this one, how the bowl is designed. Um, now, if you look at this one, it's a lot smoother and much bigger around. You can see it in the video. Um, it's much bigger around. So, your spray pattern are obviously going to be different from piston to piston. So when guys ask about um, 305 horse to 325 horse, a lot of guys, oh, well, I want the 325 horse because I want more power. And it's like, well, it's not, that's not what I'm asking. I'm asking which engine you have. So you make sure you get the right spray pattern. You get the right, in, you get the right piston for the injectors that you're putting in and then for the operating system because the operating system is different. You can swap it back and forth, but we won't get into that in this video. Um, now, you can get... So this is uh, five nine pistons. So here is a six seven piston, which you can see is the bowl design is basically identical from a three twenty or a three oh five horse and a six seven piston. Now that's kind of a cool thing because what you can do if you have a three oh five horse truck, you can take a long block from a 6.7 and put it right into that truck. You do not have to modify anything. The 5.9 injectors will go in the 6.7 head. Now, you can't use 6.7 injectors in a 5.9 head. Um, I will do a video on that later, so I'll show you guys the dimension differences and stuff. I went through this years ago. Um, I've, I've done this swap a bunch of times. Um, and awesome swap for the money. Um, especially if you, can get, if you need a 3.05 horse and you can get a 6.7 for a good deal. Um, or if you just want more torque, they, they're torque monsters. Um, now, that being said, so that's swapping a 305, that's a direct swap, you don't have to do anything. Now, if you want the bigger displacement from a 6.7, but with a 325 horse, which they cost a 505, um, a 325 horse, what you can do is you can get a, a marine piston or an industrial piston. They're technically industrial pistons, not marine pistons, but anyways. Um, this, so you can get this bowl size, this bowl design and size in a 6.7 piston, and it's a QSB piston. Um, so an industrial piston, or some people call marine. Um, I just, I don't have one. I, I only order them when I need them because we don't use them that often, but um, you can get that. Um, and they're readily available. And they're no, they're a little bit more expensive than this piston, but not a lot. So if you guys wanted to build a 6.7 to put in your 325 horse uh, common rail Cummins, you can buy pistons to go in the 6.7. You don't have to change anything. So I think that's just about it for pistons wise. Um, and there is a bunch of different, there is a bunch of different pistons, like there's marine pistons, there's industrial pistons, and a lot of that is, is that, so the higher horsepower piston, um, sometimes the ring land will be in a different spot, it'll have a dual keystone ring land, like this one that I was talking about, um, whether it be a 12 valve, a VP44 style engine, so uh, 98 and a half to 02, 
um, in the diesel truck world anyway. They're, it's different in industrial. Um, and then they're, some of them are made out of different materials. Some of them are hardened more, um, just depending on what, you, what, what application it's for. Um, I do have a pretty good, um, you know, like I've been doing it for a long time, so I got quite an extensive um, parts list, I guess you would say, for a lot of this stuff. Um, and you can Google it, um, you know, like the, if you wanted um, the, uh, the marine style um, pistons for stuff, literally just punch in marine and the part numbers come up. You just want to make sure you're getting the right part numbers for stuff. Um, but yeah, that's, so that's that. Um, none of it's rocket science, but I seem to get lots of questions about it, so I thought I'd do a video. Um, and then I can just refer you guys to the video. Um, that's it for this one. Uh, hit, hit like, subscribe, um, share the video. I'm trying to get more content out for you guys. If you got anything that you want me to do a video on, hit me down in the comments.